Hey everybody, Rick B from Strength Theory Studios. Here with an easy one for you. A really cool mode called Locrian. Let's talk about it for a second. Let me turn off my backing track I just threw together. It's not the most pleasant sounding scale because it has a diminished to it. Here it is on B in its natural key. Alright, so if you're trying to do Locrian, and you're trying to make it fit something, and uh, you're kind of realizing it's a diminished sound, it doesn't really sound that good, you're wondering how you can use it, here's that diminished sound. So you're wondering how you can use this. Well, one good way is to build tension with it. So you can put on some C chords. Here's some C chords for you. Uh, C to C major 7. I got a borrowed third in there. A D, well, I guess it's an E flat major 7. So there's the chords, and we're just going to build tension in the key. We're just going to use low current mode. Watch this low current mode here for a second. We're just going to build a lot of tension. So I just built a bunch of tension up, right? And I was just using that low current riff. Notice it still resolves to the root of the key, right? Because I'm building a bunch of tension, and I'm just going to resolve it. Now let's talk about switching it around a little bit. You can use Locrian instead of Phrygian and it gives you a super sweet sound. We're just going to use it out of key. This is because it's going to give the major key a subtonic. Check this one out. Just resolve it to that root note of whatever key you're in. Now, I hope you enjoyed this. Let's turn on some distortion and play around for a little bit. So I really like it with a little bit of extra something to it. So here it is again. I'm going to drop it down to this octave right here on this E note. Alright, hope y'all enjoyed the lesson. Y'all have a good one.